recognize a special guest that we have here this morning. I've been told that this gentleman has been a lifelong member of Center Presbyterian Church. We're very happy to have him here this morning, Mr. Frank Judger, who is 103 years young, right over here. Judge, thank you for joining us this morning. For the unveiling of the monument, I'll be assisted by Jenny Tolson, Regent of the Mecklenburg Chapter National Society, Daughters of the American Revolution. If the past is a deep prologue, then a glimpse into the past can provide a source of wisdom and inspiration for the future. As we honor these patriots today, let us be mindful of their service for our nation, and let us rededicate ourselves to the principles which they held sacred. The members of the Mecklenburg chapter North Carolina Society, National Society of the Sons of the American Revolution, and those assembled here, dedicate this marker to the glory of God, and in the memory of Neil Brawley, John Brevard Sr., Captain James Byers, Joseph A. Byers Sr., Robert Byers, Andrew Carr, Sergeant James Connor, William Connor, General Ephraim Davidson, Colonel George D. Davidson, Captain Gilbert Paul, Major William Paul, Edward Gibbons Jr., Patrick Gracie, Captain James Houston, Lewis Kenton, Captain James Mears Sr., John McConnell, Adam McNeely, John McPherson, Matthew McPherson, James Murphy, Lieutenant Gilbrace Neal, Colonel Adlai Osborne, Colonel Alexander Osborne, Andrew Ramsey, Captain David Ramsey, Robert Ramsey, William Reese, Joseph Templeton, Adam Torrance Jr., Hugh Torrance, John Wilson, Samuel Wilson, Moses Winslow, Patriots of the American Revolution. Representing the North Carolina Society, Sons of the American Revolution, George Strunk, State President. <laughs> Representing the South Atlantic District, National Society, Sons of the American Revolution, Dan Woodruff, Vice President General. Representing the National Society, Sons of the American Revolution, John Thornhill, Historian General. Representing the Southeastern Region, National Society, Children of the American Revolution, Jane Pomo, National Vice President. Representing the North Carolina Society, Daughters of the American Revolution, Ann Hobbs, Organizing Secretary. Representing the North Carolina Society, Sons of the Revolution, Gus Suckup, State President. S. 
say our chapter is from the state of North Carolina. Representing the Mecklenburg chapter, Chad Lloyd, Secretary. Representing the Catawba Valley chapter, Jack Bowman, President. Representing the Colonel Alexander Lillington chapter, John Thornhill. Representing the General George Washington chapter, George Strong, President. Representing the Lieutenant Colonel John Pfeiffer chapter, John Meisenheimer, President. Representing the Lower Cape Fear Chapter, Gary Green, Registrar. <laughs> Representing the Salisbury Chapter, Franklin Merrill, President. SAR chapters from the state of South Carolina, representing the Daniel Morgan chapter, John D. Hoyle, President. Representing the General Francis Marion chapter, Guy Higgins, chapter registrar and state historian. They are chapters from the state of Virginia, representing the Colonel James Wood II chapter, Brett Osborne, past president. <coughs> DAR chapters from the state of North Carolina, representing the Alexandriana chapter, Carolyn Dalt region. Representing the Battle of Alamance chapter, Adrian Chafee, region. Representing the Daniel Boone chapter, Pat Colin. <laughs> Representing the Hickory Taverns chapter, Beverly McAllister, Commemorative Events Chair. Representing the Liberty Hall Chapter, Jane Wydra, Registrar. Representing the Mary Slocum Chapter, Brenda Collins, Regent. Representing the Mecklenburg Chapter, Jenny Tolson, Regent. Representing the Peter Smith chapter, Kathy Highland region. Representing the Vesuvius Furnace chapter, Michelle Stewart, Vice region. DAR chapters from the state of South Carolina, representing the General Nathaniel Green chapter, Sherilyn Woodruff. Sons of the Revolution chapters from North Carolina, representing the General William Lee Davidson chapter, Gus Suckup, President. Colonial Dames of the 17th Century chapters of North Carolina, representing the Fort San Juan chapter, Barbara Reed Weed, 
please join us in reciting the SAR recessional, led by Gus Suckup, state president of the Sons of the Revolution and member of the Mecklenburg chapter. Let us remember our obligation to our forefathers. Closing benediction will be given by the Reverend Dr. Robert M. Howard. Would you give your attention to the Lord our God, who has promised us many things? May the Lord, the Creator who created you, and you find your purpose and meaning in life by seeking Him. May the Lord, the, Re the Redeemer, the one who so loved you that He sent His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, into the world to save men and women who were set apart because of their sins. May the Lord sustain you as you turn from your sins and believe in Him and His Son. May He shine and make His smile upon you. May He bless you and keep you both now and forever. And the people of God said together, Amen. Amen. Lord our Commander, please retire the color. Let's see if there's one. Well, the wind is not moving.